Good morning, are you ready for your English lesson? All right, we should be working in your language book. And today you're gonna need pages 81 and 82. This is the one we're gonna need today, okay? So let's see if we can go ahead and get those pages out. Okay, so I'm gonna read this story to you and I need you to follow along with me. Okay, remember our deal, you have to follow along. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Micah and Claire grabbed their jackets and ran out into the cool fall air. They were on the hunt for the best four square game ball. Claire saw Micah hanging over the rod and lawnmower, reaching toward the back of the shed. Just when she was certain he was stuck, he sat up and tossed her the ball. They quickly shut the doors and ran to the front of the church. Claire threw the ball to the girl in square four and the game began. When Micah's turn came, he took his place in square one. As the ball came toward him, he sent it bouncing to another square. The ball bounced from player to player. Claire cheered as she wondered if she would ever get a turn. Just then, Pastor Pruitt called the children inside. Micah and his three teammates sighed. They just knew they were going to beat the record for the most plays. Micah saw Claire as he went inside. He said to her, hey, I'm sorry you didn't get a turn today. Next time I'll make sure you get a play first. Claire was sad that she didn't get to play, but she said, thanks Micah, you did great today. I wish you had the time to break the record. As Pastor Pruitt said a prayer of thanks for their food, Claire and Micah said an extra prayer of thanks for each other. What time of year was it in the story? Do you know what season it was? It was probably in the fall, because look right up here. They had to get their jackets because they ran out into the cool fall air, so it must have been fall. What game were they playing after church? You remember the name of the game? Four Square. They were playing Four Square. How come Claire didn't get her turn? The pastor called him to come inside, didn't he? What were Micah and Claire thankful for? Their food. Remember it said they, they gave a prayer of thanks for their food and an extra prayer of thanks for each other. They were thankful for their food and they were thankful for each other. Pretty good, huh? All right, let's look at our uh, page 82 today. This is going to be our assignment. Now we're going to be working with long E sound. Do you remember what sound that long E makes? It makes the name of it, of what it is, E. Can you think of three words that have the long E sound? Can you say them out loud? How about eat? How about beach? Can you think of some? What do you have to brush every morning? Teeth. Can you think of some more? All right, good job. Now let's look at this part. This says words can be split up into syllables or sounds. Ask your teacher to say the following words or clap for each syllable. Now I'm gonna do it with you. Now these words right here are one syllable. That means they're just one clap. So when I say this word, Claire, you listen, ready? I'm gonna clap, Claire. Listen to this one. Clap with me. Church. Let's do this one. Turn. See, those are one syllable words because they only get one clap. Now these are two syllable. That means they're gonna get two claps. Now this, this kid's name is Micah. Now let's say his name and let's clap every time you say a syllable. Ready? Micah. Let's say this word. Clap with me. Children. And what about this one? Thankful. You hear that? Every time we said these, we had to clap two times because they have two parts to them, two syllables. Now these are longer. Let's see if we can do these. Now clap with me. Okay, don't clap too fast. You listen to me. Here we go, ready? Lawn mower. How many syllables does that one have? Three. Let's do this one. Continued. Three on that one. Let's do this one. Excite. 
meant three on each of these. These are three syllable words. Now, let's look at these. These are really big words. Are you ready? This word is interrupted. Now, let's say it slowly and let's clap our syllables. Are you ready? Interrupted. Four syllables. This word is disappoint. Now, we're going to say it slowly and we're going to clap the syllables. Ready? Disappoint. Oh, now that's three. We have to add the tid on there. Ready? Disappointed. That's four syllables. If we just say disappoint, it's three, but we had to add this on there. I almost forgot that one. So do you hear how you clap every time you say a syllable? Let's say your name and clap your name and see how many syllables it is. Ready? Brayden. Your name has two syllables. Let's see, what about Athalie? Let's clap Athalie's name. Ready? Athalie. She's got three syllables. So you can figure out how many syllables each word has when you just clap them out. All right, I'd like for you to get a sheet of paper out and a pencil, and I'm gonna put your new spelling words on the screen, and I want you to uh, practice your spelling words, and when you're done practicing those, I want you to get your novel out and read your novel, okay? All right, that's all for today. Here's your spelling words. Let's go ahead and write these down real quick, okay? Now, all these spelling words have the long E sound. Meat, this is meat that you eat. B, field, me, lady, key, Pete. So this, I want you to write all these down right quick and then you'll be able to practice your spelling. Go to the link and practice your spelling words and then do your independent reading, okay?